One thing I love about Brandon Sanderson's work is his characters. He's really known for his world building and all the immersive and comprehensive magic systems and places that he builds, but his character work is also just terrific. And as a character reader, that is what really is important to me. So I thought, why don't we rank his main characters? I've not called this protagonists because I want to encapsulate people like Kelsier and Wax and Wayne, which aren't technically both the protagonists. I guess Wax would be the protagonist. So it's all the main characters in Brandon Sanden's repertoire. If you enjoy this, I might do uh, side characters because he also has fantastic side characters. So I'd really like to make that list as well. But uh, yeah, let's, let's do some main characters. Let's do the Sanderson fun time. Now I haven't read Elantris yet, so I am missing the main characters in Elantris because I don't know them. But I'm pretty sure I have all the rest of the big characters. Don't think I'm missing any. You let me know if I'm missing any of them. I'm also not doing anything from the Reckoner series. All the main Sanderson books I think are here. First up we have Shalon. Shalon seems to get some shtick for being Shalon. <laughs> some people do find her really annoying, but I really like her as a character, especially in both Words of Radiance and Rhythm of War. When we get more of her past, you can see that she's a very damaged individual. And because of that, ooh, I'm gonna go A or B. We'll put her in A, but tentatively. We might move it down to B depending on where this goes. This is very much a tier list of Sanderson's characters, so even the B and maybe even the C could be B's and A's on other lists. This is just, the spectrum is Sanderson characters, so they're all gonna be high quality for the most part. Next up, we seem to have lost, we seem to have lost the head of this character. This is Wayne from Wax and Wayne, Mistborn Era 2. I love Wayne. Wayne's great. Wayne's another one where a lot of people don't jive with his humor and then makes him not quite as entertaining to read about, but I, I love Wayne. I think he's an interesting character. He's not particularly deep. I've only read the first two books in Mistborn Era 2. So I've read Alloy of Law and Shadows of Self. So this is just going off the first two books. He's a great character, but he's not particularly deep. He hasn't got a lot going on behind the scenes that I can see, but he's also really interesting and very unique. So I think top of B I'm going with for Wayne. I might put him up in A, we'll wait and see, because I do love Wayne. I think he's great. Next up, we have the main character to the second secret project. I remember being pretty surprised with how much depth Sanderson gave his character, but it's not been that long and I can't remember him that well. So he's not particularly memorable. Also, I don't want to say too much about him because to keep the spoiler free. But yeah, pretty not memorable, but I, he was deep enough and he had a good backstory. He is, are people still avoiding even the premise? Okay, jump forward 10, 15 seconds if you really don't want to hear anything. He does have amnesia in the book and you learn about his past as you go along with the story and he is a very interesting character but because he doesn't know himself you don't feel particularly attached to him until you learn about his past right pretty much right at the end so you don't know him that well and you don't spend that long knowing him <laughs> if that makes sense so because of that i think c i could see him going in c i think that's fair Next up, Dalinar. Finally, one of the one of the top tier characters. Dalinar is terrific. It's funny, I remember reading Way of Kings and I always thought he was cool. He's a cool character. And then book two, he's pretty cool as well. It wasn't until book three where we get his backstory and some of the, the traumatizing stuff that happened in his past that really skyrocketed him as one of my favorite characters of all time. In book three, Oath, Oathbringer, brutal, brutal. Also, fun fact, this is a bit of a weird thing. I don't know if anyone else does this, but when you're picturing a character in your head, sometimes I picture characters from other films and TV shows as that character. And I always picture Dalinar as the big fire hero in My Hero Academia. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's always how I pictured Dalinar to look. I also pictured Sazed as Jafar from Aladdin. I don't know why, but that's just how I pictured them. Dalinar, I think S tier, I think S tier. But next up we have Finn. First era of Mistborn means so much to me. Those books are really what brought me back into the genre. So those, 
books and those characters do mean a lot to me. Vin isn't as deep as some of Sanderson's other characters, but I still really connected to her. And she is a really well realized character, very flawed. So I may be looking at this through rose tinted glasses, but I'm putting Vin in S tier as well. Spencer. Spencer's a terrific character. She makes the Skyward books. If Spencer wasn't as interesting and well fleshed out, then the Skyward books would not be nearly as good just going off the plot and the side characters. Spencer really carries those books for me. That's one of the reasons why I didn't enjoy Cytonic that much, because I didn't feel like she really progressed as a character in that book. However, in Skyward and Star Sight, Spencer was great. I think I'm going to put her in A. Above or below Shalon? I think below. She's a really well realized and fleshed out character, but Shalon just has those extra couple layers of depth. Another one where we've kind of lost the image a bit, but I think this is Kelsier. <laughs> but first a word from our sponsor, Commonplace. Why are you so far away? Come here. Do you like bugs? Me neither. But occasionally when I do read one, I want to discuss it. And there isn't really an app or a way to properly talk about the books I like. This is built for books. Hop on in, Commonplace. One of the things I really love about Commonplace is that you can save the quotes from the book you're reading all neatly within a digital library. I love when people are able to talk about their favorite quotes or even include a line at the top of a review, but I always forget to note it down. And even when I do, it gets lost. <laughs> but now with Commonplace, I can just use my phone camera, go over the book, take in the quote, insert it, save it, done. You can have a more Reddit style discussion post. One thing I did was I made a grub club. So if you read the Dark Legacy books, I can save all my favorite grub moments in that. And also you can join the grub club. And if you're reading the Ember Blade or the Shadow Casket, you can save your favorite grub moments to it too. So it lends itself really well to a book club. You can take quotes, you can add discussions all within a group. So be sure to hop over to Commonplace and follow me. There's also the likes of Patrick Leo and Library of a Viking and Fancy File already over there too. And the app is completely free. So if you wanna just use it for saving quotes, you can do that or you can join it in a more community aspect to it. But thank you very much to Commonplace for sponsoring the video and back to the list. Kelsier is really cool. The thing that's really interesting about Kelsier is he doesn't change that much in the Mistborn era one books, but he has such a strong personality and character that you don't really need him to. You still are really interested in seeing him and reading him as a character. It's kind of like your Sherlock. Like, does Sherlock really change as a person? Not really, but he's awesome. He's just a terrific character. Is that enough to make him S tier though? That's the question. Yeah, I think so. Just the level of importance he is in the, in Sanderson's work and even fantasy characters as a whole. He's just so iconic. I'm gonna have to put him in S. Next up, we have our Headless Wax. Wax is cool. I think, like I've said, I've only read the first two books in Era 2, and he is the main protagonist in Mistborn Era 2. And I think for 90% of those two books, I would have probably have put him in B as well, probably top B, because he is a really interesting character. But you see the end of book two? <laughs> This should really be a rating on just how much trauma the characters have gone through <laughs> rather than how deep they are. It's just level of trauma. So I think because of that, I'm going to put him at the bottom of A. Yeah, I think Spencer is a wee bit more realized than Wax so far. Next up, we have Vasher. Now, Vasher is in Warbreaker and he's not really one of the main characters, but I think he will be a bigger part. Well, I know he will be a bigger part in the Cosmere as we go on. So I wanted to include him in this list and I'm not gonna mention much about him because we kind of see him in other places and we know a bit about him, but we don't know that much. I still think he's a really interesting character, especially in Warbreaker, but a lot of his intrigue is this mystery behind his plotline and kind of where we can see it. You, we think it'll end up, but we've still not got much of him as a character. So I'm going to put him under Wayne, I think. Yeah, I think that seems reasonable because Wayne is great. I love Wayne. K 
Kaladin. What is there to say about Kaladin? Easy, top of S, top tier character in all of fantasy and sci-fi. He's just great. There's a reason that everybody talks about Kaladin as being one of the best characters in all of fantasy and sci-fi. He's so deep and troubled, but also persistent. Just when you think he's starting to do well, more bad things happen. <laughs> There's a scene in Rhythm of War with Kaladin that's genuinely one of the most emotional scenes I've ever read in a book. It was, it was rough. It's so good. You just feel so bad for him. And that whole boon sequence. But then you can also combat that with his inspiring and uplifting moments, like the end of Way of Kings, Honor is Dead. I do have a really bad feeling that he might die in book five. But until then, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Bridge for reference. Anyway, S tier. Next up, we have the two characters from Warbreaker. It's been a while since I've read Warbreaker, so I don't remember them particularly well. It's also been a while since I've read Mistborn, but those characters still hold strong in my head. I remember them being interesting enough and good characters. And I think one in particular, we will probably see more of. And I'm excited to see where that goes, but I'm going just off what we've read so far. I think probably top of C for both of them. I'll go with Viviana, I think her name is, on top just because she was the main character and we saw more of her and she was more complicated a character. And last but not least, we have Tress from Tress of the Emerald Sea. Tress is a great character. I really liked reading from Tress's perspective. She was kind of your classic small town girl whisked away to the big adventure. But it would perfectly serve the purpose of the story, but also all her little quirks, like the collection of cups that she has, did make her a really interesting character. I think I'll put her middle of B. I do also think that she had a good character arc in the book. She really came out of her shell, but it wasn't overly complicated. And these things don't have to be complicated, but there just wasn't a lot to latch onto and really think about afterwards. However, I don't think the story needed that. I think her character perfectly fit that story, but I still think middle of B is fair for her character. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Vasher above Viviana? Yeah, yeah. I'm more interested to learn about his character and what he does in book two and three of the Warbreaker series and also his further connection into the Cosmere more so than Viviana's, I think, just slightly. They do kind of come as a pair, so... Mm. Nah, I want to see why Vasher is how he is. Let me know what your list would look like for Sanderson's main characters. I'm also interested here, where would you put the Elantris protagonist and main characters? And let me know, do you agree with my list or is that just way off? <laughs> but yes, thank you Commonplace for sponsoring this video and thank you very much for watching. Outro.